in honor of the Players' Championship being contested this week, I thought I would give it a try myself. <clears throat> so, without further ado... Um, ah. Without further ado, let us head to Sawgrass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The Players' Championship at Sawgrass. Ponte Vedra, Florida. <clears throat> Total prize money is five hundred thousand dollars. All right, round one. You gotta remember, folks. This was uh, this was back in nineteen ninety one. All right, so, hole number one, uh, 389 yard par four. Got water off to the off to the right. Tree or the yeah, trees off to the right as well. With a slight dog leg. <coughs> All right, that's a that's a good shot. See what we got going on here. Uh, <clears throat> bunk bunker off to the left of the of the green, and behind that is the rough. It looks like the green or the hole is just dead, just dead smack in the middle of the green. So, 112 yards. Let's see what we can do here. Da, 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 da. I don't think I hit that far enough. No. Oh, maybe I did. Oh yeah, but it's gonna be a long birdie putt. <clears throat> okay. This will be for birdie to move up to one under par. And. From the looks of this, let's see what we can do here. Eight inches above the cup, 38 feet away. So it's gonna be a fa it's gonna be a rapid acceleration down the hill. Uh, no, that was, that was too hard. Oh, oh. Okay, this should be an easy tap in for par. Two inches below. All right, let's see what can, let's see what happens here. All right, we saved par on hole number one, and we remain even. All right, let's go to hole number two. First, let's see where we are here. We are in 29th place between Kenny Knox and David Frost. A lot of people on this list have retired, I've noticed. Well, as I said before, it was 1991. Okay. Hole number two was 511 yard, par five. Gotta hit it a fairway before we actually hit the fairway. Okay. Ah, crap. Eh, I knew I was gonna do that at some point. All right, we can get it. We can get out of this. <clears throat> Question is now: Can we avoid? The water hazard. Hoping we can. Let's, uh, move it off. No. Yeah, okay, that's good. The wind is 
blowing slightly to the slightly to the left. And we are safe. Safely on the fairway. <clears throat> okay. There's the hole right there. 53 yards. If I get it on the green now, it'll be for birdie. So. I think I hit it a little too hard. Yeah, just... Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, eight inches above. There's still will be another downhill run to the cup. And only a six-footer. Alright. Mm. Let's do it a little bit that way, I think. Oh, that was too hard. Oh! Alright. We go to one under par after two holes. I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. We move up to 14th place. Alright. Hole number three is a par three with a rather large water hazard separating us from separating us from safety. Um All I gotta do is keep it to the right. In front of the water hazard is the rough. Uh, Alright, let's, let's see what happens here. The wind is blowing towards the water hazard, of course. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, saved it. <clears throat> Why do I keep doing that? Well, I lost our stroke. This will be for bogey. Wow. That's what I get for that's what I get for being excited. Um. <clears throat> it is a foot above the cup this time around. Seven footer, so it's going to be a really... going to be even faster going downhill. Mm. Mm. Save, saved it for bogey, and we move back down to even. I'm not even sure what the cut is at this point. Or no, wait, this is only round one. Okay. We're back to even. 29th place again. <clears throat> Hole number four, 360 yards, par four. Once again, another large water hazard. This time, there is a fairway. Off to the left. And the green is behind uh, yet another water hazard. Okay. And the wind is pointing to the southeast. So. Hit it straight. <clears throat> and let's see what happens. Oh, I just barely missed it there. Alright, we are in the deep stuff. We gotta get it up and over that water hazard and past the bunker on the right. See what, see what we can do here. Um, okay. No, don't go that way, don't go that way. He went that way. He, damn it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what's this? 
Not on the green yet. What the hell? 14 yards away. Oh, didn't get it close enough. Okay. <clears throat> Two inches above. It's, not, it's a five footer. Two inches above it. Don't hit it too hard. Alright, save par. <clears throat> it's all fours across the board after four. Now we go to now we go to hole number five. Where do we sit? Thirty first place between the legendary Larry Mize. And I didn't see that see who that other guy was. Okay. Hole number four, hole number five, excuse me, is a par four, 454 yards. <clears throat> Water hazard to the right, rather large fairway to the left, extends all the way to the green. Alright, see what the wind is doing here. It's off to the northeast, slightly to the northeast. Oh, and I point it that way. God damn it. Well, <laughs> you don't see me... This is why you don't see me playing this game very often. Anyway. 219 yards. Stroke 2. Let's get it. Oh, no. I'm taking a drop on that one. I'm not hitting it again. Alright. Don't think I hit that one hard enough. Nope. Son of a bitch. I don't care. We're not on the green yet. Stop doing this. Okay, so, this will be for double bogey to drop two over par, and I'm assuming below the cut line. Six inches below, four feet away, so we have to hit it hard if you want to get it in. And I failed to do so. Triple bogey, we dropped to three over par. And I'm assuming way below the cut line. Where do we where do we sit? It's almost last place. Alright. Hole number six is a 381 par four, 381 yard par four. Excuse me. Water hazard jutting off to the to the northeast, and a rather straightforward fairway, so we can get she should be able to get on that. The wind is pointing to the south, so it's almost in our face. <clears throat> Uh, all right, we're safely on the fairway. Nice shot. Ball ice on the fairway. The wind is now in our face. 96 yards to the put to the hole. Might want to hit it harder than usual. Why? Did I just do that? Now we're in the now we're on the beach. I don't care, we're not on the green yet. Stop showing me this. Okay, this will be for bogey. <clears throat> Alright, we are square. 
with the hole and it's a short distance. So that said why okay we saved par. We remain three over for the round. <sighs> Are we still yeah, we're still hanging on to almost last place here. Okay, we moved up a few places. Alright. Hole number seven is a par four. A long par four. With not one, not two, but three water hazards. A couple of bunkers off to the right of the green. And a rather lopsided fairway, so that said. Let us... Oh, shit. Underneath the yards. Okay, now I have the trees to contend with here. And behind that is one of the water hazards. So, hmm. Let's, let's point that over that way a little bit. And we're safely on the dance floor. All right. This will be for Birdie. Let's take a look at this. All right, we are square with the with the cup once again. 11, 11 feet. So. <sighs> Not hard enough. Damn it. All right, five footer. This should be an this should be an easy tap in. All right, save par again. You remain three over par. I'm going on to hole number eight. Hole number eight is a par three with almost no fairway to be found. Surrounded, by, almost surrounded by trees, and a couple of bunkers to, to contend with around the green. So, it's gonna go out, isn't it? No, 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 no. Damn it. <sighs> All right. It's going to be a long par attempt. Let's see what we can do here. 14 inches below the cup, 21 feet away. And from the looks of it, there appears to be some incline pointing off to the right. All right, so ah, uh, and we drop another stroke. Two. Oh, we are almost certainly in last place now. Yeah, we are. Of course. Alright, let's try and redeem ourselves here. Oh, hello. Long par 5. With a giant water hazard off to the le the right. As long as the wind doesn't carry our ball that way, we can I think we're going to be safe. Oh, 
Okay. Stroke two will see us over over a small river onto the next fairway. The next fairway is going to narrow up towards the green. I really wish there was an overhead shot that I could see other than that one. Move it over a little bit. Alright. That's in the... in the, the short rough. Okay. Oh, it's in the heavy! Okay, so the, the lighter rough is the heavy stuff. Okay. Um... 35 yards. The wind is pointing to the, the, the northeast. So, they'll hit it to the northeast. Are you shitting me? God damn it. Alright, what do we got? Oh, six inches below, 30 feet away. And I think I see a slight incline to the right going up and over. So, go that way a little bit. And, uh, yep. Can I get a clo- Okay, I got it closer. Got it closer. That's good. Now what are we looking at? Okay, we're level. We're level with it now, three feet away. I hope. Alright, save par. Not that that matters anymore. Alright, we finish with a 41 on the back nine, five over par. Or the front nine, rather. Now we go to the back. We are... Oh, what's this? Okay. Hole number 10 is 395 yard par 4. A slim water hazard. We'll put the fairway over to the right. <sighs> okay. Hit it, hit it. Alright, we're safely on the fairway. All right, I think we might end up hitting it into the bunker, but it's a risk we'll take. The wind is going a little bit quick, so we'll point it in that direction. Not quick enough, apparently. Shit. Well... That's another, that's another long birdie attempt. God damn it. Uh, da, da, da. It's pointing downward to the left. And then slightly to the right, further down. And it's going to accelerate pretty quick. Mm, okay. All right, um, oh, no. All right, what do we got? Okay, we're square with it. Save par again. Wow. I just love me some pars, don't I? Don't care, we're in last place. Alright, anyway. A long par 5 is hole number 11. The water hazard 
once again to our left, a rather large airway that narrows up half halfway down. And the green is surrounded by rough on the left and bunker and water hazard on the left and behind it, or on the right and behind it, excuse me. So, without further ado. Let's move over just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Uh, God damn it. Try and keep it out of the out of the water. Okay, we're not even close to it. Good deal. All right, we got it back on the fairway. Let's try and hop it over this. Not a lot of room for error. Wow, really not a lot of room for error on there, is it? Oh boy. Okay. I don't think I made it. Oh, I made it. Hello. Oh. Are they gonna show us a replay of that? No. Okay. <sighs> All right. I can't believe I missed that. Anyway, two inches below the cup, thirteen feet away. So it's gonna be an uphill climb, but not very. Not a, not a not a hard one at that. Let's point it. Hmm, let's point it that way. Oh come on! All right, this will be a tap in for par, of course. Two inches above, so. Oh. Really? Oops. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, hole number f 12 is, um, okay, we got a water hazard up front. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh Ah, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, this is why I never play sports games because I suck. <laughs> anyway, um I think we can get it out here. Get it out of here. I'm going to have to skirt it over the trees though. Skirt it over the trees and into another hazard. Brilliant. Thirty seven feet for par. There's no way. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is no way. Um. Two inches below, however, I don't believe that for a second. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to angle it to the right. Probably too far. Oh yeah, not far enough apparently. Okay, 14 inches below the cup, 5 feet away. You gotta really smack it. And we dropped the 7 over. 
As if I didn't see that coming. Okay. Hole number 13 is a par 3. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. With a... Rather large... Water hazard and a fairly small fairway. With a couple of trees off to the right. So, with that said... Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh. Oh, no. How far away? Oh, okay. Um, oh, hello. Okay, uh, eight inches above. 41 footer. There's definitely an incline. Definitely. Didn't know if you guys could hear me from there. Um, okay. Oh. So, that being said, let's uh, put that sucker over there. Uh, no. Well, I got it closer. Still below the cup. But, it's considerably closer, as I said. Saved par! Not that it matters. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, now is where the water hazards start getting a little more prevalent. Uh, hole number 14, 430 yard par 4. Alright, all I gotta do is keep it to the right, which the wind is assisting us with, apparently. Alright, that should be a good shot. And, oh wow, it is. Almost an instant replay. Almost. Okay. I lay up on this or lay off on this shot or put it that way a little bit. Uh -huh. That's going in the bunker. Almost missed it. Okay, save par again. Although, I don't see that happening. Looks to me like, uh... Looks to me like this is gonna go fairly steep down to the right, so... So, we are gonna angle it to the left. And hope to God that it gets in, but I don't think it will. But anyway. Oh, I hate it when it happens. Alright. Five footer for bogey. And we're level with it. Alright. We drop another stroke, but it's okay. Hole number 15 is a sure, uh, medium length par 4 with a rather large fairway off to the left and a smaller one to the right, but it's being separated by the heavy stuff. So, and there's a water hazard in front of us here, so... um. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Getting over the trees is going to be a task. Alright. 
Up and over. Don't go further out. Come on. God damn it. I just want to get it on the green. And I completely skipped over the green. Wow, I am just sucking it up right now. Let's take a look what we got here. Okay, six inches above, and it's 11 footer. That being said, I don't really see, I don't really see an incline going here. See a, or a, a decline rather. I see an incline. Mm. Alright, let's just whack it. Yeah, that's what I get for just whacking it. Okay. <sighs> Seven footer for double bogey. <sighs> okay, I, I can see an incline. Slightly. Alright. Back up the hill. And we dropped a 10 on 10 over. Hole number 16, par 5. It's a short par 5. Uh, Alright. Straightforward, I think. Oh, don't tell me I shot that towards the water. Oh. Or in the... Don't go in the rough, don't go in the rough. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna angle that to the left slightly, so so I don't hit the water. Okay. Maybe a bad idea. Oh hell no. Oh. Okay. No, oh, that went even that went better than I thought. Oh what? Are we really doing this for for eagle? Okay, six inches above, and we got five feet between us here, or, f or 60 feet, rather. <laughs> the hell did I say five feet for? Anyway, um, you know what, I'm just going to wing it, because why the hell not? Get it over as far as I can. Get any clo okay, well, I cut it, I cut it considerably closer. Two inches below, eight feet, so. We get a birdie! How about that? Our first birdie since hole number two. And now, probably the most infamous hole on this course. Hole number 17. Let's take a look. And there you see it. We gotta get over this water hazard onto that tiny little island that makes up the green. Ah, <sighs> and for whatever reason, there's a tree in the middle of it all. Okay, well. Better not be any wind, because if there is, I'm fucked. Oh, and look at that. There is. Lovely. Am I going to get... Damn it. Too, sh too short. Too short! Take a drop. Ladies and gentlemen, you probably think I'm a shitty golf player, and guess what? You're right. And I'm on the green!
This for 20, this for bogey. Drop back to 10 on 10 over. Let's see. Okay, right in front of the cup, there's a, uh, a slight hill there. Four inches below. Okay. All right, so let's aim that. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, man. Oh, now it's even further below. Lovely. Okay. And we drop to 11 over. Can't say I didn't see that. I didn't see that force. Can't say I didn't foresee that happening. How far behind are we? Oh, hello. Okay. Oh. Let's go to hole 18, the final hole on this course. And... Wait, merciful Christ. Damn, they really did a number on this hole, didn't they? All right. Giant water hazard off to the left. Which practically makes this hole a dog leg. Uh, and the wind is taking it to the left. By a long way. And we are... S holy shit. Let's take a look at that again. Goes up over the water hazard, slightly to the right, and drops down, keeps on going for a little bit. That is a beautiful shot from our last place golfer. And now, I'm not sure if there's fairway underneath that pile of trees, but I'm assuming there isn't. Um, Alright, just gotta hit it straight. And a depression on the fairway. Not sure what that means. The wind is still pointing to the left, which means it still can take me out to sea. And... Boom. I'm on the green. Very long way away, but I'm on the green regardless. Okay, let's take a look. It is an uphill climb for our final final hill or final uh, hole. Excuse me. Uh, twenty nine footer. Okay. I'm definitely not getting a birdie out of this. I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah, I knew I knew it was gonna do that. Son of a bitch. This will be for bogey. Actually, no, this will be for par, but, yeah, and this will be a tap-in for bogey, and this will most certainly be the end of my, end of my tournament. I finished with an 84, 12 over par, probably one of the worst rounds seen at this course. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I'm pr I think I'm the only one who missed the cut. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I missed it by 11 strokes. Yep. Alright, well. Oh, okay, we're gonna miss then. Okay, after round two, Jay Haas is the leader. And bringing up the rear is... Marco Mira. Wow. And Paul Azinger. Oh, a couple of legends in the golf scene right there. Alright. Paul Irv. 
round number three. Peter Jacobson loses the lead. Or Jay Haas, rather. Peter Jacobson had the lead after round one. Okay, let's see who wins. Final round. J.C. Sneed takes out the win in front of Roger Maltby, who is now a broadcaster. Let's see if we can see Jay Haas, Tom, Tommy Armour, Peter Jacobson, Gene Sowers. Alright, folks, that is the end of this uh, special playthrough. If you enjoyed what you saw or you heard, then uh, consider leaving a like or subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. Until the next video, keep on rocking.